Hi, it's Corrine for Wild Orchid Crafts, and today I have a flip through of a custom ordered baby album to share with you where I've used lots of gorgeous Wild Orchid Craft products. So I'll be sure to link the products used down in the description box as well as over on my blog. And check out the description box for all the links to Wild Orchid Crafts. I hope you stop by and check out all their amazing products. So this is a large chunky album. It's a baby's first year album and the album measures approximately eight by seven. The spine is probably about four and a half and it's a, like I said, a one year baby album. So it goes through the entire first year of the baby's life. And the theme of the album is Little Princess. The colors are turquoise, mint, and gold. And I used a gorgeous paper pack called Minty Fresh. So let me go through the album and show you what I've done here. On the front cover, I use this beautiful turquoise damask paper. I did the base out of my album of white. We wanted white, mint, turquoise, and then gold throughout the album. For the front here, I use this beautiful ornate frame that I cut from the Cameo, and I cut four layers of them so it has some dimension to it. And on this um, frame piece here, I used some of this Krylon Glitter Blast glitter spray. It's the Diamond Dust. I used this a few times throughout my album. It went perfectly in this little girl princess themed album. It gives it just a nice little iridescent um, look to it. This gorgeous image I purchased off Etsy. I will try to remember to link to the Etsy store that I purchased this from. I actually have a few images from her shop, so I will link to those in the description box as well. I use this beautiful flat back pearl trim. It's one of my favorite trims from Wild Orchid Crafts. And then to the side, I have a beautiful cluster of gardenia under here. I the gardenia flowers come in like five, four or five layers. I like to pull them apart and use them in separate pieces. So here's two of the layers here and another of the small portion here tucked in. And then to the top of the gardenia, I have a aqua color magnolia with a pearl in a diamond buckle circle. I have another gardenia piece here. I have an wild rose here in the aqua color and then another wild rose that I pulled apart so it was a little bit smaller. I have some of these beautiful white rose leaves tucked and some of the ivory open roses here and then I also have some hip rose buds and then I added some of the flat back pearls to the side here and then I used some of the Nouveau crystal drops in white here and here. I love using these and then on the side I have this gorgeous rosette trim. For the closure, it didn't need a closure, it sits very well, but I thought for a little girl princess book, a little tool closure that matches this turquoise color was perfect. And then plus once the mom adds photos, she may want to use a little closure. So this album, like I said, goes through the baby's entire first year and she can document all the different changes that the baby goes through and a photo for each month. So. All, the whole album on the right side has a pocket and that's meant to hold the journaling cards and the milestone cards. I kept that the same. The left side of every page I did a little bit different. So I'll go through it here to show you. This is going to be the welcome page. I have a large photo mat. This will hold a five by seven photo cut down slightly on the height. And I backed it with some of this gorgeous glitter paper. I used two different glitter stacks. I used Glitter Glam by the Paper Studio from Hobby Lobby, and that's what this is from. I also used DCWV's glitter paper as well throughout. And then I also used some gold foiling paper because we wanted to keep that gold touch throughout the album. So the mom can slide the photo directly under this. It has this beautiful lacy trim. And I use these mixed corners from Wild Dark Crafts. These are resin pieces. Absolutely love using those. And they are slightly left open so the photo, if she's using that large of a photo, it can slide underneath them. On this side I have some um, stick it notes to hide the baby's name. I wanted to, I didn't get permission um, to add the baby's name here. These post-it notes are not holding very well. But I wanted to add the baby's name to the very beginning of the album. I used a little strip of that gold glitter paper along with a bow that I cut from the cameo and added one of these flowers with diamond centers, again from Wild Orchid Crafts. I added this beautiful border of little hearts connecting in this same turquoise mint color. 
And look at this paper. I absolutely love the color of this album. To each pocket, I have a large photo frame. This is approximately, um, or this is a five and a half by six and three quarter photo mat. So again, the mom can add a large five by seven. She would just have to cut down the height of the photo slightly, or she can add several Instagram photos or just a four by six photo, and then perfect to add journaling to the back. I know when my son was little, I wrote down all the funny things he said, new things he did, how much he was eating. And by the time he was a year old, I forgot all that stuff. So I was glad that I took lots of notes. So that's why I like to do a large photo mat so the mom can jot down maybe something funny he was doing in the photo or I should say she, this is for a little girl. Um, I was referring to my son, I guess. So that just tucks in here. The mom can also tuck more photos in as well. And then I added some journaling cards. I designed these in my Cameo and every single month is gonna have one. This one says welcome, and then it has weight, length, milestones, and highlights. So perfect to jot this down. This is a four by six journaling card. Great to add a photo to the back. Every month has one of these quick and easy to do for the mom. And then this here is a journaling card. It says first bath. Again, perfect to add a little square two by two or four by four photo, photo on the back or journaling. And then this is a simple stories. I believe it's from their Snap Girl collection, but I, I changed the design of it to add, cause this had a pink banner strip and I changed it to match this really pretty turquoise color that's throughout the album. But again, as you can see, it has name, birth date, time, day of the week, doctor, hospital, so on and so forth. Great to add all the information that you want to remember about the birth. So that just tucks in here. On this side, I did a large photo mat. I used the Duck Egg Nouveau Crystal Drops. I love these crystal drops. I can't say enough about them. I used those to frame my mat here. And I used this gorgeous image that, again, I got from Etsy, the same seller and this beautiful little princess with the gold crown, since we wanted to tie in the gold, I backed it on some of this gold foil paper and used a image that I purchased from the online silhouette store. It says Princess Life. Just leave this for decoration or add a photo to the back. And this is a pocket, so it tucks in here so she can tuck the photo directly in here. Here I added a little cluster of flowers and also a little scallop piece of that same glitter paper to tie that in. I used a Pretty Flory Snow White Flower is what it's called from Wild Arc Crafts. It has a gorgeous pearl stamen in the center. Some of the aqua chrysanthemums, a cosmos daisy, some sweetheart blossoms tucked here and here. And then I have a little pearl piece in a diamond center. And then these here are, you can find them at Michael's. They're those white little tile words that you can make jewelry out of. And this one I added my heart to. Every single pocket has a pull-out mat on the side that I designed in the Cameo with this beautiful bracket edge frame. So again, this is perfect for a five by seven photo for the front and back or lots of journaling or several small photos. Every single pocket has a pull-out. So I won't pull these out on every single one, but every single one has it. So on, on this side, I use the same beautiful, it's a very muted paper with a flower for, floral background to it. Um, I use that on all the pages here because it just blends in so well. And in this pocket, I use this gorgeous trim, this same flat back pearl trim, and then I use these ivory heart, flat back heart embellishments from Wild Orchid Crafts. And look at this gorgeous mint and turquoise paper, the little hearts. I absolutely love this color combination with the gold. Every single pocket has this large photo mat like I showed you in the first one. So that tucks in here. Here's the month one journaling card. And I made sure to coordinate um, this little piece that I designed to go with either the paper that's on here or the paper on this side. So in this case, I wanted to use that hearts again. So I added the heart decoration to that. Here's a journaling card for this pocket. And then I also made a little princess wand. I designed this in my cameo. I used a star and then I foiled some gold foil to it, some deco art foil, along with a bow. And this is just for decoration, but it says every princess needs a little sparkle. That went perfect with this theme of the album. And then again, oops, I sprayed this with that Krylon Glitter Blast. So it has some um, glitter to her little wand. 
So this again just sits in the pocket. It's just cute to look at. On this side I did a diagonal pocket with some more of the design paper. Added a bow. I believe this is a Spellbinders bow from that glitter paper. Added another one of the flat back pearl, um, pearl hearts. And then here are the journaling cards. Mom can slide photos in this pocket here. On this side, I added a scallop trim from that glitter paper. And then this is a um, sentiment I purchased from the online silhouette store and just printed that out on this. It says Princess of Everything. It has a little crown there. Added some Sweetheart Blossoms. And look at this beautiful mint chevron paper in the background. Large photo mat. Here's the two month milestone card and a journaling card. On this side, I used a beautiful um, bracket design. Again, I designed this in the Cameo. I made a side pocket out of it with a white bow, this gorgeous damask pattern paper on the side or for a matting. And then here's another photo mat, a journaling card, and the mom can just slide photos directly into this pocket here. On this side, I just used some white satin trim along with this little charm that says love, added a bow. Love this pattern paper here. Large photo mat and then the three month milestone card. And these pockets will hold a lot of photos as well. So this album in general being a, a chunky album will hold a lot, dozens of photos. It'll be pretty bulky when it's done, but it will hold dozens of photos. I gave, I gave it a 3 8 inch of a gusset um, purposely so I could add flowers and make it very girly. So to this side here, I added a, a photo mat, um, and then this will hold a three by four photo. I backed it on with some of that glitter paper, added some off-white chrysanthemums, some of the rose leaves, and another one of those tiles that happened to say princess, so it was perfect for this princess-themed album. This here is a wooden crown that I embossed several layers, I think three, four, maybe five layers of gold platinum, and I did that to get that beautiful texture on it. Again, perfect for this princess album, the little gold crown. On this side, I did a strip of that gold paper, some of the gold hearts. I used some more of that duck egg nouveau crystal drops and added this beautiful sentiment that says, wherever you go, leave a little glitter. Love the polka dot paper in the background. Large photo mats. Here's a journaling card for this one. And then here's the four month milestone card. On this side, I have a large photo mat. I added some chrysanthemum flowers, some pearls that I scattered throughout from Walder Crafts and some of the leaves, some more of the chrysanthemums. Here's a little sweetheart blossom. On this side, I used some of this lace trim again, and this image she had sent to me to use, beautiful image. I backed it on some of the gold glitter paper, added some of the gold hearts, and behind it, this beautiful, I love the combination, large photo mat, five month milestone. Great to add a photo to the back like I've mentioned. On this side, this is a scallop heart that I designed in my cameo. It's a white scallop. I added that gold foil paper and some of this beautiful damask paper to the top. And I covered up the name, but it has the baby's name that goes around the heart there. It is so pretty when you look at it. And this is perfect to tuck photos behind the large polka dot turquoise paper. Here's another photo mat. And then this beautiful journaling card I backed on this gold foil paper. On this side, I used a strip of the gold paper, added the word blessed, love this font, and some of the large pearls from Wild Orchid Crafts. Again, love this combination. Here's the six month milestone card another journaling card. And then look at this beautiful little princess. Again, the gold crown that ties in. I backed it on some gold foil. Such beautiful imagery. Perfect for photo or, I, or um, journaling on the back or just can leave it blank. Again, another beautiful image that she sent to me. I backed it on this gold paper, made a little corner pocket out of it to hold a photo mat. And then this journaling card I backed on the glitter glam paper. A happy life is made up of little things, made of little things. 
On this side, I used more of that trim along with a thin strip from the paper, a heart here. Gorgeous pattern. Here's a journaling card for this month. And then here's the seven month. Again, it ties in with this paper over here. On this side here, I did a side belly band and I used some white cardstock along with that gold glitter paper, some of this gorgeous flat back uh, pearl trim and then another heart here. So the mom can just tuck in her photos right into there. I have a photo mat. Here is a journaling card that she can write a note to her daughter. I used to write lots of notes to my son when he was little. I'll give them to him someday. On this side, I use this beautiful flourish that I had. Um, I love that. It has the heart here. And I added a strip of that gold paper. Here I used a mixed frame that Wild Orchid Craft sells. I backed it with some of the glitter paper. And then with glossy accents, I added several of these pearls throughout. And then tucked in some white chrysanthemums, some sweetheart blossoms here, here, and there. Let me give you a close-up look of that. I love their resin frames. Beautiful polka dot paper in the back. The eight month. I use the same damask um, paper as you see over here. I just use the white background of it. Some journaling cards. On this side, I have a photo mat that is up on some chipboard, so it's slightly dimensional. And it's a belly band, so the photo can slide right under it. Um, I use some of this gold paper, some of that beautiful lace, and the flat back trim that I had in my stash, and a aqua colored resin cabochon. On this side, I made a pocket. Let me pull all this out. I used a, I believe it's a Martha Stewart trim punch from that gold paper. Love the chevron back there. Here's the photo mats, the nine month. And then this beautiful image I found on the internet. I backed it on some of the gold foil paper with that gold crown. And then this little princess dress I made in the cameo. It is scored so the mom can open it, but I'll let her do that. She can fold it open and put a little two by two photo or journaling or just leave it as decoration, whatever she wants to do. And I added some of this gold foil to the top that I embossed with a cuddle bug embossing folder. And then this little diamond to the center of her dress that has this little bow. And her dress again, I sprayed with this glitter blast. So it gives it a nice little shine, perfect for a little princess dress. And then that just tucks right in the pocket here for decoration. On this side, I have this gorgeous circle ornate frame left open at the top so the mom can slide a photo under it. And I'll show you here in a moment, I have a template for the mom to use to get this exact size that she needs. So to that, I added this beautiful paper, pattern paper that has just this floral accent and this sentiment that says adore you. I added some pearls here to the side, and then I used some chrysanthemums, the aqua chrysanthemum, and I did tuck in a gardenia underneath it. I added some of the rose flowers and some sweetheart blossoms and then I added some pearl to the center of this one and a white cabochon flower to the center of that one. On this side I have this beautiful flourish that I added a heart to the center with using the same color scheme of what we've been using. Some more of that um, lace trim with that pearl to the center. I love this mint chevron. Here's the photo mat. And then this I got, this is a bag that I got from Hobby Lobby. And as you can see, it ties in perfectly with the gold throughout this album. And I made a photo mat for the inside of it so the mom can just add a photo, some journaling, and photos to the pocket as well. This label here I cut from the cameo and I did several layers to make it a little bit dimensional. And then I foiled this in my laminator. It says princess of everything. So that went perfectly together. And then here's the 10 month milestone card. On the next page, I did a fold down corner here and I added some off white chrysanthemums. And Wild Orchid Crafts sells doilies. So I tucked a little doily back here, 
gives it a nice little um, texture to the page. I added this wooden zipper that I had. It says baby. And then this crown, it's a metal piece that I went ahead and stained it with gold. I used some Adirondack um, ink, I believe. And then I added some pearls to it. And then I added another one of those tile words that says beauty. So pretty little cluster here. And this is perfect to hold a pocket. I have a photo mat underneath here. And then again, the mom can just place photos in the pocket as well. And then I made a large tag from the pattern paper. I used a white mat, a white bow with this diamond that I had in my stash. And then I laminated this with some deco art foil again in the gold that matches perfect. It says princess life with this large crown. That's just text in here. The mom can add some journaling or photo to the back. On this side, this pocket here, I have a little carriage that I designed in the cameo. Actually, this is, um, I didn't design this one. Well, I, I changed the um, design of it because it comes, it's, it comes folded as a card and I just changed it so it wasn't a card. I wanted it as a flip up. I used that glitter blast for the front of it so it matches the little princess dress that you saw earlier. Added some pearls to that. So again, this is perfect for a two by two photo on both sides or journaling. I just added some of that gorgeous trim to the pocket here. Love the paper. And here is the 11 month milestone card. Here are the templates that I was referring to. So this is made out of transparency. So the mom just simply has to set this over her photo, trace and cut around the photo, and it's going to fit perfectly inside of this frame. These are kind of ugly to look at, so I just like to tuck them behind something in a pocket. This template is for the next page that you'll see. Again, she just can place it on there, trace around, cut it out, and it'll fit perfectly into the frames. And then she can glue this down or just leave it, whatever she wants to do. It'll hold it nicely. So this just tucks right back into the pocket here. And then here's the frame that I was talking about that I have the other template for. I have this square scallop frame, added that beautiful flower trim from Wild Orchid Crafts, a off-white chrysanthemum, another pearl in the diamond circle, some sweetheart blossoms. Same with on this side. However, I did add a gardenia underneath. And then I added a pearl center to that. I gold foiled this. It says she leaves a little sparkle wherever she goes. So the mom can add her photo to that and leave it like this so she can pull it out and see this beautiful sentiment, or she can just cover it up, whatever she wants to do. And on the very last um, page, I did the happy, happy birthday to you. Use that beautiful glitter paper, made a scallop border out of it. Love this pattern paper on the back here. Here's the 12 month milestone. And then this is a simple stories, again, from that same, I believe it's the Snap Girl collection, but it was bordered in pink. So I changed it to add this same pattern paper that I'm using throughout the book, the same mint and turquoise. And it's a perfect thing to die cut or um, jot down dates of the first haircut, who the babysitter was, so on and so forth. It's a great journaling card. So I hope you've enjoyed this flip through and I hope the mom likes this album. It was really fun to make. If you have any questions, leave me a comment and stop by Wild Orchid Crafts, check out all their amazing products. Thanks for watching. I just quickly wanted to pop on here and share with you that I made a box to house the album in. I used a beautiful ornate frame that I cut out with the Cameo and I added this gold foil paper for the um, frame on this part. And again, using that turquoise paper, I added some trim around the box. And this box is approximately nine by nine. I added this beautiful sentiment, every princess needs a little sparkle, which I've also used in the album itself. So it ties into that. And I use the same rosette trimming for the bottom of the box. Let me pull it out here. So it has a nice place to sit. So I thought I would share that with you as well.